Uh, today we're talking to Elliot Osborne. It's a big day for Altrincham Football Club. We're talking on Friday morning ahead of the team departing for Bromley on Saturday. And it's the first time that Altrincham will have travelled as a full-time uh, team to an away game. Um, Elliot, uh, big day for the football club. And because it's because we are now full-time, we're setting off at lunchtime, whereas normally we'd be setting off uh, around about six o'clock in the uh, the evening. And that's that's quite a different experience for a player. Yeah, definitely. I think it does make a massive difference. I remember last year when we played South End away and we left at um, something like five o'clock and we ended up getting there about 12 o'clock at night. And it does make a massive difference um, in terms of eating and get, being able to get there, doing a stretch, stuff like having a little walk about and not getting to bed at a stupid o'clock. Um, and, and then hopefully tomorrow, um, everyone's gonna be nice and fresh, ready to go. And it, it, I think being full-time makes a huge difference in terms of the traveling and stuff like that. And in terms of uh, your time at Altrincham Football Club, you joined right at the start of uh, the year and you've been pretty well uh, and ever present. I can't remember you being on the bench at all. I think you've started every game you've been available uh, for and, and, and so far so good. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously last year when I came in, um, the team weren't doing so well. Um, we were on a bit of a losing run and I came in and... Um, Isaac ended up coming to the team with me and then and then we pretty much from there kicked on. Uh, we've done really well second half of the season um, and, and I think we just steadied the ship a little bit and then obviously, as I mentioned at one point, we might be able to push for the playoffs but I think that was just, we two did run out of games really. But um, no, um, been really happy with my time so far. I'd like to add a few more goals. I did that pre-season in a couple of games but I want to do it in the National League now. You know, I've, I've scored goals in the National League before. Um, at Stockport and you know I need to be adding that to my game um, to hopefully get a bit further forward and last season you played in both EFL 2 and uh, the National League um, what was your assessment of the National League coming back into it um, yeah like I think I think there is slight differences you know there is a step up but um, you know the players that we've got and, and, and the leagues there isn't that much in between it's just it's just the um, consistency on doing it on a weekly thing um, and that, that's probably the main difference I don't think it's the players like you see we've got players in our team that should be in the league could be in the league and, and most probably will go into the league um, and it's just about keeping your consistency and, and maintaining that level, level of professionalism and I've noticed in the pre-season games, um, your distribution has been very good, and sometimes your distribution is almost like a golf shot. It's like a little chip shot into the into the corners, but you've been getting it right. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's that's one of my um, assets. Uh, it's, my, it's my passing uh, sort of thing. It always has been, and, and that's why the gaffer brought me into a team like this. You know, we we have a lot of the ball, um, and obviously it benefits me, benefits the team if I can keep it, and and you know if I'm doing my job, giving it to the wingers because you know we have got good wingers, and that's what. Over the last couple of seasons, that has been our main objective. Get the balls to the wingers, let them create something and then obviously create chances and score goals. That's the uh, objective. You mentioned your partnership with um, Isaac and Marriott, which has gone really well. It's a big, big uh, blow to, to, to lose Isaac. But to Josh Lundstrom uh, coming in and signing the close season, a high quality uh, player. So we're really strong in this department. Yeah, yeah. I think um, obviously it's a massive blow to lose Isaac. You know, his energy and... It's nice to have someone in there who wants to wants to run around as as much as he does. Um, but but Josh does that as well, and uh, obviously Josh has experience at a higher level, and uh, he's still young. He's got legs, um, and I think I think the gaffer was toying with playing a four three three preseason because he didn't want to leave any of those three midfielders out. And I think obviously having lost um, Isaac, he's now obviously we've had to revert back to a four two three one, um, which isn't a problem because we're used to that. We, a lot of the players who've played in this shape enjoy that shape. Um, but like I say, you know, it's, it's a huge blow and, and we want to see him back as soon as possible. And on a personal uh, note, you've had uh, some nice uh, news recently as you've just become a dad for the first yeah, time. Yeah, I have, uh, about two and a half weeks ago. Um, yeah, really, really, really excited, really happy. Um, been sleeping really well. <laughs> Partner's been doing the majority of the, of the stuff, so, you know, I've got to be thankful to her. But yeah, really happy at the moment. And it's Arabella. Arabella Rose, yeah, Arabella Rose Osborne. That's, that's I, I picked it. I think the missus want to pick somewhere else, but I was like, put my foot down. I'm choosing that one. Well, congratulations. Thank you very uh, much to you and uh, your partner, and uh, and and you've moved back up north as as well with uh, your partner. So life's a bit different now. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Time last year. Yeah, this time last year we were we were renting a, a flat down um, towards Stevenage Way, and uh, now we've got a three bed house, um, sort of uh, Nantwich Way near Shavington. So everything's Everything's good. We're really happy, and we're just—I'm just looking to kick on and football side of stuff now. 
Saturday, Bromley away. Ironically, it's, it was our last away trip as well on the uh, final midweek of uh, last season when we drew one all with a late goal from uh, Dan uh, Mooney. So uh, a team that we know quite uh, well and, and always a difficult team to play against Bromley. Yeah, I find when you always go to a, a place like that on Astro Turf and they used to play on there and we trained on there last year. So when we went down and get, we gave them a good game at their place. Um, they've got a big team. We know that. But tomorrow's going to be hot. We're good with the ball. You know, if we can move the ball around on on a, I don't think it's the best surface because it's one of them Astros that have been used a lot. But um, if we can move the ball around, get them running, I, f- I fancy us away uh, at Bromley tomorrow. And it's two long away trips in uh, four days. Tuesday night, Maidenhead uh, United. So uh, that's a, a tough test, test physically and mentally for for everyone. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I, I, I find always getting the away trips out early doors when the weather's nice is, is the one you want to do. You don't want to be going to, you know, like a, a Maidenhead or a, a Bromley away on a cold Tuesday night in December. You'd rather be doing it now when the weather's like this and the pitches tend to be good and, and a Maidenhead hasn't got the best pitch when it gets to the back end of the season. But usually at this time, mo- most people have got good pitches. So I, I don't mind getting the away trips out early doors um, and then, you know, finishing strong at home like we did last year. And finally, uh, Elliot, what do you feel are realistic uh, expectations or objectives for, uh, for for you personally and the and the club this season? Uh, for me personally, I, I just want to create and score more goals. That's more, you know, um, what, I, what I was used to doing. I came and sort of did a role for the team last year where I was a bit more deep. Um, and I want, I want to create and score more goals. I mean, I've scored a few in pre-season um, that the fans may not have seen, but like behind closed doors sort of games. Um and for the team, we just want to do better than we did last year. You know, we, we've become a full-time outfit. We've lost a lot of key players due to obviously going full-time, losing them to their, their jobs. You know, if we can improve on last year and keep doing that every year, um, that, that's our goal. Um, and, you know, anything's anything a bonus. If we, if we can manage to get into playoffs, that'd be, that'd be outstanding, that. But we're, we're just focusing on improving on our result from last year. That's the thoughts of uh, Altrincham midfielder Elliot Osborne as uh, we prepare for our first uh, game as a full-time uh, club away from home in the Vanarama National League. Thank you very much.